guys, it's Bren, and it's been a while. I know, I've missed you guys. Um, I have so much to tell you, I have a lot to talk about. First of all, I'm in the same apartment. You might be noticing that. I was supposed to move, and there's a long story there. Um, I'll share that with you, but I'll wait for that till the end of the video, because I want to get into the haul. Um, but yeah, so much to share. A lot of people think that when I don't film for a while, it's because I'm too busy. And I have been really busy. Um, there was the kind of moving and the not actually moving thing that was happening. And then even more so on top of that, oh my God, the Cubs won the World Series, which is insane. Um, living in Northern Illinois right now, it's crazy. It's just a crazy feeling. And I've always been a fan of all the Chicago teams, but not like huge on sports. But Josh, my boyfriend, he leads Cubby Blue. He's been a huge fan. He's played baseball, loves the Cubs. So since I've been dating him, we've gotten a lot more into it. We watched all the games. And so that has been taking up a lot of my time. Um, I will tell you, uh, I go to a lot of concerts. You guys know that. But my ears have never rung as much as they rang the day after the World Series <laughs> Game 7. Because I mean, not only was Josh yelling expletives in my ear every time the Indians scored, but also just the eruption. We were out at a bar, probably about 50 people there. The eruption that happened when they won. I mean, good Lord. So very exciting time for Cubs fans right now. So I had all of that going on. But usually, even if I'm super extremely busy, if I have something to film about, I will squeeze in a video. And so it's more so just been that I haven't purchased anything in the past few weeks. I haven't had a reason to go to Bath and Body Works. That happens when I get test candles a lot because I'll get the test candles, I'll review them all, and then I sort of have to wait for Bath and Body Works to catch up with me because they're rolling out all that stuff that I already reviewed. And I've just kind of been over fall. And so I think in the past few weeks since my last video, the only things that I've purchased just were um, a peach meringue candle with the turkey wallflower plug, which is really cute. And then just like some random clearance fall wallflower, some pumpkin cheesecake. I grabbed like a travel size of the brown sugar pear cream, you know, just totally random uh, couple purchases. But now, finally, this week we had the big Christmas floor set. All of the holiday, well not all, there's still more to come, but a lot of the holiday stuff came out and I hit up three sales this week. So what I'm going to show you in this video is a three-part haul because I hit up the wallflower sale, then the soap sale, then the candle sale. <laughs> so I'll get into it. Um, first, I need to fix my hair. Okay, good enough. I had hat hair for a second there. Okay, so the wallflowers were seven for 24, like five for 18, seven for 24. It's an okay sale. And I actually ended up getting nine so that I could get to like 30, 85, I think, and take 10 off 30. The day I went to do that, I used the mailer coupons that came in the physical mail because they had a 10 off 30 and then another coupon for a free full size signature item with any purchase and it could be combined with that. So I'll show you everything I got in that first haul. Um, I got three of the Berry Vanilla Bean Wallflowers. I like this candle. My review's up for the candle if you want to check it out. And so I had to grab some of the wallflowers. I love purple. I'm a little disappointed that these are kind of a murky purple. Um, they could be like a more bright, vibrant purple like the candle is, but whatever. Okay. It's a small thing. I got three right away because I know I like this scent. Um, and now I think I will probably go back and maybe even get a couple more because I will say I've had this one plugged in now for a few days. Now they're always stronger at first than they are after a couple of weeks, but so far so good. This one is really strong. You can really smell it. It does smell a lot like the candle. It's this berry and this wafery type desserty vanilla mixed together. I like it. I think it's a good one. I'm really happy that it came out in a wallflower. My three favorite scents, new scents for candles this holiday season are the berry vanilla bean, the peach meringue, and the hot cocoa and cream. And all three passed tests and all three came out in wallflowers. So that's amazing for me. Like I lucked out. This is my year, I guess. Um, so then I also got three of the hot cocoa and cream wallflowers. And uh, this wallflower also smells just like the candle, which is to say that it smells just like hot cocoa, or I kind of get like a vibe like I'm baking brownies. The only problem with it is that it makes me want to eat brownies. This one is not as strong as I thought it would be. Um, it's okay, but I'll tell you, when I first got home with this haul, I plugged in a berry vanilla bean in my bathroom because I didn't think that was going to be as strong. And then I plugged in the hot cocoa and cream out here in this main room. And I really could smell this a lot coming out of the bathroom and everything. This one, 
couldn't smell, I can't smell it as much out here in this big room. Maybe I catch a whiff of it here and there, but that's about it. Then I switched them and I put berry vanilla bean out here in the main room. Can still really smell it quite a bit. Uh, hot cocoa and cream, now I can smell it now because it's in my small, tiny bathroom. Now, it's a little weird to have foodie scents in the bathroom. That's what I had to do with warm apple pie too. I guess I don't really care. It's fine with me, but... Yeah, I was a little disappointed that this one doesn't seem to have that much throw. It smells good, but it's definitely a small room type wallflower, unfortunately. So I don't know if I'll get more of those. Maybe just like one more or something. Then I only picked up one peach meringue wallflower bulb. I love this candle. I have a few of them now. And I'm burning right now, actually. You can't see it. It's behind the couch arm. Um, the candle is starting to get puny wick now that I'm at the bottom of it like this is my first one and I'm probably in the final fourth of the candle now and it's really starting to dud out and kind of smell burnt it's almost expected with BBW candles but it's throwing well it's been a good candle uh the wallflower the reason I only got one even though I love the scent is because I never like I always loved the market peach candle too and peach meringue is a lot like market peach but with some vanilla in it I reviewed this candle as well if you want to check it out on my channel um but as I was saying, I never was too crazy about the market peach or Georgia peach wallflowers. And I was just thinking that I could see this wallflower, even though the candles are different, I could see the wallflower being the same. But now that I have it and I'm able to open it and actually smell it, I think you do get the vanilla in this too. I'm just not sure. I figured I'll get one, I'll see how much I like it and I can always get more later. I'll probably end up getting more. Because it does smell like the candle. With the, you can get the little bit of vanilla in there. So just one of those for now. Maybe more to come. And then this, this was so random. Totally random. And now I think I'm kind of regretting it. And I don't know why I picked it up. I've never had a Twisted Peppermint wallflower. I have a love-hate relationship with Twisted Peppermint. I love the lotion. I don't really like it in a shower gel or a fine fragrance mist. Um, I've never picked up the candle before. I have one now, I'll show you. Um, and I've never used the wallflower. And for some reason I was just like, mm, let's just try it and see. Like maybe it'll be good. But now I've burned the candle and I'm not like totally vibing on it. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm really gonna like the wallflower either. This one I might end up swapping out for something else. I don't know. Mm, I haven't plugged it in yet. I haven't even opened it yet. So I don't know. I have to just wait and see. That was a total like just random impulse. Sure, I'll get this. And then the other one I grabbed was a chestnut and birch. And in a previous purchase, one of those random times that I just went and grabbed a few things, I also grabbed the cinnamon pine cone. So this was on a different day. But both of these were test candles that I got and reviewed on my channel. But they're not out in all stores yet. That doesn't mean that they failed test and that they're not coming. And the fact that there's a wallflower is not total indication that they're coming in a candle, but kind of in favor of that they're probably coming in a candle. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen these candles pass test yet. That doesn't mean that they're not still going to roll out. Winter Mint and Spruce didn't come out with the whole collection. It came out a little later. These candles might come out later, but you can get the wallflowers now. Or maybe they'll be white barn exclusives. I don't know. If anybody's heard anything on that, let me know. But anyway, the chestnut and birch smells a lot like the candle. This one I wasn't sure I wanted to get because... I, as I said in my candle review, I kind of like this scent. It's sort of intriguing, but it's also like not typically what I would like. I don't know. There's something really chemically about it too. I'll have to plug it in and see what I think. But this one might end up going back. You don't get as much carameliness as I feel like you do with the candle. It's really more just like that woody, wet wood kind of scent. I don't know. It's sort of weird. I have to plug it in and see. And then the cinnamon pine cone smells really good. It smells a lot like the candle. It's definitely very, very Christmassy. You get pine, you get cinnamon. So that's, again, I'm not huge on pine, but like I'll probably plug this one in like just right around like the weeks up to Christmas because it does have a lot of that vibe. Okay, so those are the winter wallflowers that I have acquired. And then like I said, I got some free items when I did that. So I had the free full-size item coupon, and I also had the, uh, from the previous mailing, like free travel size item, and I hadn't used it yet, and it was expired, but they do the three-day grace period. So I was able to get both of these totally for free. But I'm now kind of regretting wasting my free item coupons on this scent. I don't really like it, so let me tell you why here. Um... I wanted to like it. That's why I ended up getting it. And there was nothing else that I really loved. Twisted Peppermint, always solid. 
Um, Vanilla Bean Noel, always good too, but I have enough of that. Winter Candy Apple, I don't like. Somebody does, they keep bringing it back. The other scent in this collection, the Frosted Coconut Snowball, psh, come on, that makes me want to punch somebody. It smells just like the Oahu co Coconut Body Lotion Cream, whatever, from the uh, summer and every other coconut scent that they've ever put out. And it's just ridiculous that they put the word snowball in it and try to sell it for winter. I am just over coconut body care almost completely. Malibu Heat is good. That's the only one that I really like that has coconut in it anymore. And the only other time that I want to be using coconut body care is if I'm literally on vacation. Like if I went to Punta Cana next week, I'd bring some coconut body care. But other than that, no way. And definitely not at Christmas or during the holidays. That's weird. So there was nothing really left. I kind of like Winterberry Wonder that doesn't come in travel sizes. And that's one that last year I like kind of liked Winterberry Wonder, but not enough to really get any when I have so much other body care in my arsenal. I have to really like feel like, oh, I love the scent. I have to have it. Winterberry Wonder would be a good scent if like I needed lotion, but like I don't, I never need lotion. I will never until I die, right? So it's like, uh, I almost got that with my free item, but I was like, no, I'll, I'll get this because then I can get like a set and it's just... It's so boring. That's kind of my problem with it. A lot of people were asking me, is gingerbread latte cup of warmth? I don't know. I remember smelling cup of warmth and like kind of feeling the same way about it that I did about Winterberry Wonder. Like I like the scent. It's okay if I needed lotion, but it's nothing that stands out among the tons of other scents that I have in my collection. So I definitely don't need it and I never got that. So this that's kind of how I feel about this too though. So maybe it is cup of warmth. It's just kind of like a very basic vanilla scent. There's not a lot of spice. Nothing about it really stands out. It's just boring. Um, the shower gel smells almost exactly. Well, they both smell a lot like the, uh, I think they smell the closest to Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte from the fall. Comfort Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It's been out three years in a row now. Um, the lotion is kind of like a watered down version of that. The shower gel, I think, is the exact same thing. I used the shower gel today. I'm like, this is hands down Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte shower gel. And that's why I'm mad that I wasted my coupons on it because, like, I'm so over that scent. Um, I just got sick of it. And this, it just smells exactly like it. Now, the lotion, like I said, it smells like maybe two-thirds of just a plain vanilla lotion and, like, one-third of the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte body care. It's just a less intense, less spicy version. Anyway, I'm thinking... I'll hang on to these and then maybe like, I tried to like them. You know, I was not impressed in the store, but I got them anyway, thinking I'll get them home and I'll really use them and who knows. But no, I think I will end up probably exchanging them maybe for like Winterberry Wonder or something like that. Or I'll hang on to them until the New Year's body care comes out. There's a line coming out if you follow Bath and Body Works Daily Finds on Instagram. She's posted a bunch of pictures of this like New Year's-y type line of body care that has something called like cocktail dress that's floral. I imagine that one's smelling a lot like party dress the candle, but I have no idea. Champagne Toast is coming out in body care. I'm really hoping that, that that turns out good and not just like a boring type of nectarine scent, but something more complex than that, but not like floral or anything. And then there's like a pink confetti and there's one other one, something, something sugar. So maybe if those come out and they're really good, I'll hang on to these until then and swap them out at that point. Uh, but I'm not like right now, there's no body care in the store that I really love other than the Twisted Peppermint and Vanilla Bean Noel that I have enough of already. Huh, so that was... Day one, haul one. Then the soap sale happened, $3 soaps. And I went back to get a few soaps. And that day I had a spend $10, get a free item up to $14. I think it was the email coupon. So I got uh, three soaps. First, just a one more Thanksgiving soap, the Hearth and Home. I love the scent. It smells like brandied apple cake. And my mom has made a brandied apple cake before. She makes it every once in a while. This reminds me of that. You get apple, but you also get a lot of like brown sugar and spice. It's supposed to be, oh yeah, it says straight up brandied apple and cinnamon. I love the scent. I hate the packaging though. This is the ugliest soap I think I've ever had. And I don't really do soap sleeves. Sometimes I buy soaps just because they're cute. This is so hideous. Now I wish I had a sleeve to cover it up. I might try to dump it in a bottle of a different one or something. Um, I'm not a fan of green either. It's totally going to clash. I really like the scent. So I got that one. And then I got two of from... The holiday line. I don't usually hoard and stock up on soap the way that I stock up on body care and candles. I just have a very small collection. I probably have about like 12 soaps in my possession right now is all. But I do have some Christmas soaps from last year to use up so I don't need that many more for this year. Um, 
so I described two. And Very Merry Meringue is a lemon scent. It's just like a lot of the other lemon scents that they've put out, and it's not really Christmassy, but I do love lemon. Uh, it smells a lot like the lemon buttercream soap that was uh, out over the summer with Boardwalk Vanilla Cone and all those. Almost exactly. Uh, you can compare it a little bit to like lemon chiffon too. What I wish they would do is make this in a little hand cream, you know, one of these little $5 hand creams because back when lemon chiffon came out, it came out in a hand cream and oh my God, I wish now that I had bought 200 of those, but I only bought two and I have one left and I refuse to use it and they're very scarce on like eBay and people charge a ton for them. I would love for them to come out with a lemon desserty scent again in a hand cream, but for now I just got the one. So, and then I got a uh, cookies for Santa. I always like the typical bakery, very basic scents. And between like this and Mary Cookie, I liked this better. I felt like Mary Cookie was not as bakery-like, um, not as spicy. It was more of like a cleaner vanilla scent. This one, this one has a very like buttery, warm type of note to it. Um, golden buttercream cookies sprinkled with sugar and cinnamon. Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's pretty much just a bakery scent, but I thought it was a good one. So there we go. Then, uh, you know, I needed to spend one more dollar. So I got a worthless piece of crap that I'll probably throw away. I don't use pocket pack holders at all, like ever. I figured, you know, I'll, who cares? Whatever. I'll get it. It's one dollar. It gets me to my coupon value and it will likely go in the trash. Um, and then for my free item, I grabbed the Twisted Peppermint Mason Jar Candle. Uh, it's cute this year, you know, nice pink. <sighs> I don't know. I have burned it now, burned it once. And I love the peppermint marshmallow scent because it's a nice, sweet, desserty type of peppermint. This, though, without any, like, let's see, what are the notes on this? Do they even say anything about, they do say vanilla buttercream. They also say balsam and musk, though. And it's like, really, no... Oh, the second note is sugared snow, because we all know what that smells like. But yeah, it's pretty much just supposed to be like a candy cane type of scent. And with the lotion, I do get like a candy cane feel. But with this, I get more of like a toothpaste type situation. It's just so like cool. And there, it, because there is no bakery, it's just peppermint. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't horrible. Um... But like, again, after I burned this, I was like, ah, crap, I got the wallflower too. Now I don't really think I love it. Um, I've never had, like I said, a candle on this before. Um, it got a little better when I started burning it alongside, I had a chocolate pistachio going because I had like this much left in it and I was just trying to use it up. But I think it might be really good going alongside the cocoa and cream too. And then you would be kind of getting the effect of the peppermint marshmallow candle, except that one's weak. And this is really strong. So I feel like if I burned a hot cocoa and cream along with this mason jar twisted peppermint, I may achieve what I want to get from peppermint marshmallow, except like stronger and actually throwing. So this will be a good candle to burn alongside bakery scents, but I don't like it by itself. Um, but anyway, whatever, you know, free items, free item. Every time I went into the store this week, I had all these free item coupons and like nothing. I didn't want anything. There are a lot of really cute winter Christmas wallflower plugs, but good grief. I have so many from prior years. I'm like, oh my God, the skating penguin's so cute. But I had a skating penguin last year. Oh my God, the snowman with a scarf is so cute. But I have two snowmen with scarf wallflower plugs from last year and they're not like broken yet. They're still working. So I really have to stop myself from getting all these cute plugs because they look a lot like the ones I have from prior years. So Wallflower plugs are a good free item, I think, if you have one of those coupons. Um, you know, like, cause, like I said, I have enough body care, and I like three-wick candles a lot more than the little guys. Okay, so that was haul two, and then the candles went on sale. So I had to go back again, and I went with my sister. She wanted some candles. She ended up getting... Uh, a Twisted Peppermint 3-Wick and a Vanilla Snowflake 3-Wick. I was trying to push her in the direction of Mary Cookie because she usually likes more bakery type of scents, but she didn't think it would be strong enough, I guess. And I told her Vanilla Snowflake is really strong, so she, she got that, and maybe she'll like the Twisted Peppermint more than I do. Um, but anyway, I got in two, tra uh, two transactions. First transaction, got myself the Roasted Chestnut and Cherries candle, and I'm very excited to try this out. Although maybe not as excited as I was when I got it because I just watched Sean's review on it and he says it's really light. So I'm hoping that mine is stronger. Um, there's been some debate uh, on this candle because people are smelling very different things in it. 
I have a um, 6274G3A10. I also smelled an A8 in the two stores that I was in. So A8s and A10s have been the batches that I've been smelling. Um, it smells at first, and I said this on Instagram, and this is kind of what started a conversation about it. At first, I was just getting a lot of like a caramel type, um, you know, smells a lot like they're almost like summer boardwalk happening. And then, but like on a, a lesser note, um, I'm looking at my other candles, trying to compare this to something else. But just, I was getting a lot of like a, a caramely toffee, toffee is the word I'm looking for, type of scent. However, and then some people agreed with me on that. And some people said, no, 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 I get like pistachio, I get cherry. The more I smell it, the more I get more of like a almond pistachio type of nuttiness coming through here. Cherry, I don't know. Um, almonds kind of smell like cherries a little bit. You know, almond extract and maraschino cherry juice smell very similar. It's not like that. I wish it was. I'd love it if they did like an amaretto candle. Would love that. I just don't know. I have to burn it. I'm excited to burn it to see what I get. I hope it's not too light. It is very sweet though. It is very sweet. It definitely has like a caramely, toffee, nutty. I'm thinking of like like a turtle. Like my mom makes these turtle bar cookies, but like without chocolate. No chocolate. But what else is in a turtle? Caramel and nuts, right? So that's kind of what it is. Um, I don't know. It's kind of growing on me the more and more I smell it. I will do a post-burn review on this one, though. After I burn it, I will come back and let you know what I think. So that one was $26.50, $10 off. It was $16.50. I threw another twelve fifty candle in with that, um, and that brought me to twenty nine. And so a berry vanilla bean. This is my second one. Uh, I will probably get another one or two at the eight dollar candle sale, but just in case they're out or something by then, had to grab one more. And then so I was at twenty nine, and you know with the soaps I threw in the stupid pocket back holder because I didn't know that the tiny little Santa hats were only one dollar. If I would have known, I would have gotten a tiny Santa hat then too, and now I would have two. Not like I know what I'm going to do with this, because I don't have, like, I don't, like, set out lotion on display, and they're supposed to, you know, in the store they have them, like, sitting on a lotion bottle or whatever. Um, so I'm, like, thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but if this, if this is a dollar, I'll get this. Then I got home, and I realized actually what I could do with it. My poor cat. She loves it. <laughs> So that was one purchase. And then also in another purchase, I got a couple things from my mom and I grabbed one more peach meringue. So this is my third peach meringue. I will get probably one more at the $8 candle sale. And then for my mom, she wanted a snowflakes and citrus. Now I told her, I said, mom, you know that that's just midnight blue citrus repackaged. And she was like, I don't know. I feel like it's a little different. But I will say the first thing I did when I came home with this was smell it side by side with my new unburned Midnight Blue Citrus. So we have exact same situation here. And I'm telling you, I smelled these, this one first, then this one first, then this one first, then this one first. And a million times over, they smell exactly the same to me. I think they are exactly the same. Not that that's a horrible thing um, because it's a great scent. This is a scent that really took off for them. It started as a White Barn exclusive. It did really well, so they put it out everywhere, but in a small amount. And then it did really well, and they brought it out, like, again, like, in a bigger release, and now they're repackaging it. So this is, like, the next watermelon lemonade, the next sweet cinnamon pumpkin, the next mahogany teakwood, the next scent that will not die for them because, you know, it did really well. So now they're going to drive it into the ground. Uh, but if you like that scent, here's a nice Christmassy label version of it, I guess. It doesn't smell like a Christmas scent, but it's a, it's a good scent. So I got that, and then also, so that, that was 25, and then I got a Jingle Bell Berry Cream, also for my mom, because, uh, she, and this was to get to 30, but she loved the iced blackberries scent. It came out a couple of years ago as iced blackberries, and there was a hand cream with it too. Last year, there was a soap that was very similar, but maybe not exactly the same. And now this year, uh, Mary Berry Kiss, I think it's called, is a soap that's out, and that is exactly the iced blackberries again. My mom confirmed it, and she had a ton of iced blackberry soap, <laughs> and she's very happy that it's back as Mary Berry Kiss. 
Ficus or whatever this year. So that soap, if you like the ice blackberries, get it. But I really think that this lotion smells a lot like the ice blackberries too. Perhaps it's not exactly the same because I don't know if there's quite as much ginger in it. But it's certainly like really, really close to ice blackberries and there is a little ginger in it. That was my whole problem with it is I'm just over ginger at this point. I remember I liked ice blackberries for a minute because the blackberry was really good. But there's just, there's just so much ginger and I just, that's why I'm really over this body care now. I know it says gingerbread latte so it's like my own fault for getting it. But I don't know. I just, yeah. I don't want, I'm, I'm just sick of ginger. They've been really doing it a lot lately it seems. So anyway, that's all of that. That is the wallflowers and the body care and the soaps and the candles. I'll be back with the roasted chestnut and cherry review. And then who knows after that, eventually we'll hit $8 candle sale day. On my list for that right now is like a Merry Cookie, some more berry vanilla bean, um, peach meringue, and then just gifts for people. Um, at this point, I don't really know. It might not be like a huge year for me, like last year's $8 candle sale, but I always say that and then you like get into the spirit of it and it's like so exciting and I end up spending more than I plan to. So that's the haul. Um, I will briefly try to explain to you what's going on with my situation here. So you guys know, if you've been watching anyway, that I was trying to get out of this apartment because it has this like weird humidity, mold, smell issue. And I've lived here for like four years. I'm getting a pretty good deal. It has some really good amenities. I get to park right outside. I have a washer and dryer. I really like it. So I was super bummed that it started to have this issue. I started to get this weird smell. And it's been going on for like a year now, but it's like, it was just like a couple times and then it increased and it increased and it increased. And then I figured out that it was because there was mold in the attic. It was really bad. Um, when I showed my landlords, they took care of it right away. They had the roof replaced. But the problem is actually not that just that there was mold in the attic. The mold was in the attic because this place is so freaking humid all the time. It's like 85% humidity. I'm really close to a river. I'm just like a river like two streets over. And there is a crawl space. And the crawl space is where the furnace is. And I figured out that it was only smelling weird in here when the air conditioner or the heat was on because the smell was coming up through the vents because of the furnace being located in the crawl space. And the crawl space has this very like dank, damp basement smell because it's super freaking humid down there. And we put a dehumidifier down there, but it just wasn't cutting it. I mean, the thing would like fill up and have to be changed after like an hour because it's just so humid. And the thing is, it varies. It fluctuates. Some days it's totally fine. Then it rains and it's like, God help me, I can't even breathe in here. But... Then we hit fall and it's like I didn't need to run the heat or the air conditioner and then it's totally fine in here and it doesn't smell like anything but candles. Um, <laughs> so I was so upset that I had to move but I felt like I had a gun to my head and I had to because I was like I just like my landlords have tried a million things to try to fix this problem. It just wasn't getting fixed. I was like I'm a renter. Why aren't I just getting out of here? But then when I told them I was going to leave they right away were going to have someone else come in because obviously I just think they don't really believe me too much about the smell because they haven't really smelled it on a bad day themselves but I know I'm not crazy because like my friends have come over and they totally smell it but what can you do um but I was just so like I wasn't excited about moving people kept telling me like are you excited and I was like no I'm super bummed about it like I don't want to have to move and this new place that I decided to move into it was just like I found it, it was about in the same price range, but it didn't have the amenities that I have here. It was like a third floor walk up, you had to park really far away. Um, it just, I don't know. I went and I looked at this place and at first, like he showed me a two bedroom and it was too expensive, so I turned it down. Then he called me back, this landlord guy, and he said, well, I have some people that ha have just had a kid and they have a one bedroom, so they're gonna move into the two bedroom. Would you wanna move into their one bedroom? It's cheaper. And I was like, okay, I'll look at it. So I went and I looked at it and they were still like half living there at the time. They still had a bunch of stuff there, but they had kind of moved out, so they didn't have the air running. They didn't have like any, you know, airflow in the place. So it was really like, kind of stuffy, but it made sense that it was kind of stuffy when I went there. And it kind of smelled like diapers, but like clean ones, but like they had just had a kid. So that made sense too. And I was like, okay, you know, I, again, I felt like I, I didn't love the place, but I felt like I had to move. So I told, gave the guy one month's rent for, to hold it for me so that he wouldn't relist it. And this was like at the end of September. And we agreed that I would move in on October 15th. But he told me he was going to be on vacation for like 
over a week or something, and he would get in contact with me when he came back. So I gave him the money. He calls me at like 10 p.m. at night on the like 13th, like, and it's like, I forget, what day did we say you were going to move in again? And at this point, I had like already arranged to have like a truck that day and everything. And I told him the 15th and he's like, mm, you know what, I'm going to be out of town on the 15th. Is there any way we can do it like on the 18th or something like that? And I'm like, no, like, if I told you that I'm moving in on the 15th, like, you should be able to, like, get me the keys at, like, 7 a.m. that morning. You know, and luckily, I just had a friend with a truck, and I had book movers for, like, a week later because I was overlapping a half a month with this place. So, you know, it wasn't like I had actually, like, you know, needed to get the keys at 7 a.m. that day. But still, I was like, that's really shitty. And then, um, you know, so he ended up meeting up with me on the 15th, but not until, like, 5 p.m., so I go and I was by myself and I'm really not like, good at confrontation. I felt very awkward, but I walk into the apartment. The people have moved out now. Um, mind you, this guy's been gone on vacation for a couple of weeks, but he had people in there that were supposed to be like painting and fixing it up, but it didn't really look good. It They hadn't painted and it didn't like there was still like marks on the counters and stuff. The main thing was that he had had the carpets cleaned, but they still look pretty shitty and sorry, I don't normally swear. I'm just really mad about the story. Um, so it smelled like cat pee. And that's what I'm basically what I'm getting at is that the whole place, like now that the carpets were like kind of damp from being cleaned, I, I, I told them, I'm like, it kind of smells like cat pee in here to me. And I'm just walking around like, what do I do? Like, I don't want to move in here. And he's like, well, I don't smell anything. Um, he offered to have the carpet cleaner guys come back and like, do like some kind of meter thing where they measure the ammonia or something like that. And I was like, well, I just, I mean, that's really not going to change it. Would you put new carpet in? And he said, mm, well, if I put new carpet in, it's going to cost you $20 more a month. And I was like, you know, this carpet was like old. Like he needed to just change it because they needed to change it, not charge me more to change it. And uh, so then I'm like, well, what if I don't want to move in? Could I get my deposit back or at least part of it? And he goes, mm, that's not going to happen. <sighs> so what he says he'll do, because now we're just standing there awkwardly, like neither one of us saying anything, is he's like, well, why don't we do this? You know, I'll turn the heat on to kind of like dry the carpets out and then come back in a few days and let, you know, we'll see if it smells better. And so I left and I was just like crying and like I called my parents and I'm like, I'm moving in with you because <laughs> I don't want to move into this place anymore. And now I have to leave my place. And while I was doing that with the landlord, my old landlords were showing this place at the exact same time. So my parents are like, well, you can move in with us for a little bit. They, really, they don't want me there. <laughs> uh, they're like, but your cat cannot. Because my dad has allergies. Also, my parents just hate cats. So I think the allergy thing is kind of an excuse. But they're like, no cat. You'll have to figure out something else as far as that goes and all this stuff. And I'm just like, ugh, I don't know. It just it was the worst day. And then I called. So my old landlords had left from showing this place. And I just sent them a text and was like, well, by the way, they told me like, oh, we have someone who's interested who filled out an application. And I texted them and I was like, well, by the way, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not actually like my new place kind of fell through and I'm not going to move into there anymore. Um, but, you know. Like, I know you have someone else, so I'll still leave unless, but if that doesn't work out, let me know because I would stay. And then they were really nice about it. And they were like, no, you can stay. We haven't even run a background check on that person. We'll just tell them someone else took it, you know, and they're letting me stay here. And they put new carpet in. This carpet's like darker, but it's okay. Um, they put new carpet in. I know they put new carpet in because they think that the smell was coming from the carpet. But I know that it's not like because I'm it's the crawl space like I know this but I don't know they wanted to put new carpet in I wasn't gonna say no so they put new carpet in this room anyway not in the bedroom um and it's a fine right now because for mo the most part I've been able to just like not have the heat running or the air conditioner running and the heat hasn't been that bad if it's because now it's starting to get less humid outside. And so like I had the heat going the other day and it was fine. It didn't smell bad at all. Everything was great. But the humidity was really low. Then it rained and I kicked the heat on and it's 
the smell was starting to come back. Not at its worst, but like it was definitely there. And I'm like, this is because it rained because it's like 90% humidity out and that that is the problem. But I'm on a month to month. So I'm like, well, I'll just take a little time to figure it out because the smell's not going to be that bad in the winter and I can use space heaters if it is. Um, and then, you know, there'll be a lot more apartments available come like moving season, come like May, June, you know, I'll be able to figure something else out. But anyway, it was a big relief that I could just stay here though, because like I just wanted to stay. And my mom said to me the same thing. She goes, you tried to change too many things in your life all at once. Cause like it was like new job and new apartment and moving like all at once. Like it's just, you gotta take things one one thing at a time. <laughs> but I didn't get my money back. So I tried to get my money back. I tried to go like, I tried to reason with the guy and say, I tried to cancel my cashier's check first of all, but it didn't matter cause he'd already cashed it. And of course he had, but um, I tried to be like, you know, I gave you a month's rent and you only had the place like on hold for half a month. Also during that entire half a month, he was on vacation. So he wouldn't have been showing it anyway. He didn't care. I mean, the thing is about the guy too, he's untouchable because he's like the president of the whatever blah, blah association of landlords or whatever for the city. Um, but I found out that's actually like not, they don't fight for tenants. They fight for landlords. So come on. But the guy's loaded. He has like 80 different units around the city. He's constantly on vacation. He was on vacation like twice when I was trying to see the place. It was impossible to set up a time. Then he was on vacation for two weeks at the beginning of October. Then he was like gone out of town again on the day that I was supposed to move into the place. I don't think he's ever here. I think he just takes all these poor people's money from all these apartments that he's renting out and being a slumlord too and then like goes on vacations all the time so it sounds like so nothing I can really do other than write a nice Yelp review you don't want to you don't want to mess with me because I review things you guys know that but uh so you know my voice will be heard but anyway <sighs> it is what it is I'm not even mad that I lost the money I'm just mad that it went to him you know, I mean, my car broke down not that long ago and it turned out to be nothing. It could have been something huge. You know, life, sometimes you blow a few hundred bucks. But yeah, I wish I could have like given it to charity or something and not this guy who's such a jerk. That's the only thing that really bugs me. But anyway, I'll let you guys go because this video is like exceeding 25 minutes now. <laughs> but it's been a while, so I owed you one. And uh, like I said, I'll be back with more. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram in the meantime, at Candles and Music. Go Cubs, go. I'll see you later. Bye.